good morning student in the previous class i have uh, started your third chapter that is roger the dog and we have uh, finished the first two paragraphs in your last class now let me proceed with the next part of this poem and let me first read it out and students i will read it once again from the beginning Roger the dog asleep he wizes at his ease he only wakes to scratch his fleas he hogs the fire he bakes his head as if it were a loaf of bread he is just a sack of snoring dog you can lug him like a dog you can roll him with your foot he will stay snoring where he is put i take him out for exercise he rolls in cow flap up to his eyes he will not race he will not romp he saves his strength for goblin jump he will walk as hard as you could wish emptying his dinner dish then flops flat and digs down deep like a miner into slip dead yujus so student here is the end of our poem now let me give you a short summary of um, the two paragraphs that we have read today so in our last class we got to know that roger was a very lazy dog he always used to sleep at home and um, he just wakes up whenever he need to scratch the fleas or eat something and now in today's paragraphs we got to know that sometimes the poet means ted hughes he used to take him out for exercise but the roger he doesn't like to exercise and in order to avoid exercising he can do any kind of tantrums he can show various tantrums to avoid exercising and he also makes himself dirty in the cow dung here cow clap is given so student cow clap means the cow dung so he used to make himself dirty mean he, means he make his whole body dirty in cow clap uh, or cow dung in order to avoid exercising and roger he doesn't like to race he will never race like other dogs and he will never romp means he will never play also like other dogs but what does he do with his energy don't think that he just waste his energy uh, in sleeping only he saves all his strength for goblin jump means eating he used to eat his food and chew it with all the strength that he saves throughout the whole day it means he doesn't like to waste his energy in running playing exercising it means he doesn't like to do any work in an order to waste his energy or strength he just only saves his energy throughout the whole day in order to have his food nicely and you can never imagine that he works as hard as you could wish in order to empty his dinner dish means he will anyhow empty his dinner dish and then he flops flat means once again after finishing his bowl he once again went to sleep like a small kid so student here is the end of this poem and i hope that you have understood it and throughout the whole poem we have understood that roger is nothing it is just a lazy dog so students here i have mentioned the word meanings from today's 
paragraphs here number one is cow clap which means fresh manure means um, it it is the cow dung means a fresh cow dung the number two means romp which means play or jump about number three flops it means drops down number four means gobble it means eat something hurriedly and noisily and number five is chomp which means munch or chew noisily so students i hope that you have got the meanings of the difficult words from this paragraph but since if you have any other um, words that you are not understanding understanding you can ask me in the comment section and student here is the home assignment for your today's class and student here is an important instruction for writing your home assignment as now you have uh, reached class 4 means you are young enough that's why earlier you used to write with a pencil but now you have to write down with uh, ball pens or you can also write down with the ink pens means you, you can start writing in your copies with pens you don't have to write down with the pencils and, and another important thing is that students don't have to note down all the previous home assignments in your classwork copies you can keep them in your uh, rough copies only um, because and you have to just note down the exercises uh, in your classwork copies just after getting your copies means um, I uh, I think that you have got your copies just a week ago or few days ago means you have to just keep uh, note down uh, noting down your um, exercises in the classwork copy right after you got it means the previous means uh, it has been two months that we have started online classes and you don't have to note down all the exercises in your new classwork copy you have to just note down the uh, few exercises that have um, done after getting the copies and don't forget to mention the dates and writing down with the pens so students this is the end of our today's class again we will meet in the next week thank you so much